Guy with MMA KO, and we are here at TNT. And look who we found. We are with Warpath. What's going on, man? Well, tell us what's going on with you, man. I mean, you're yeah. fighting now. Uh, you, know, you were fighting in Japan, or you were fighting somewhere, or you're going to fight in Japan? Well, I just got back from Japan in July. And did a pro wrestling thing. It was two pay per view shows. It was just phenomenal. Some of the best athletes in the world. I'm um, looking to go back in the next couple months. We're trying to line everything up. I need to go back to Romania. So I've been, I've been fighting globally. <laughs> so I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Good stuff. So when can we see you locally again and, and get that right here back in Sacramento? Well, I'm trying to hook up uh, locally once again. You know, it's like uh, I started here in Sacramento, and uh, all my fans are here in Sacramento. Been best fans in the world, right here in Sacramento. And so I'm trying to get hooked up back locally. Um, we're, we're negotiations right now, so we're, we're trying to work it out. I mean, it's not a it's the pay thing kind of a thing, but you know, it's like I don't care that I can come back and fight in Sacramento and just say, you know, thank you to my fans that have been so supportive. Yeah, that's one thing about you have a huge fan base. I mean, people best love fans, bad, best, bad. best fans in the world, right here in Sacramento. I mean, they blood and, and bleed with us in the ring. It's like when we hurt, they hurt. So I like, can't get any better than that. So now that the other these other organizations, I'm sure you get a quite a bit. Is there any rumors of anybody that possibly that can bring Warpath to their cage or their ring? Well, you know what? I'm always looking. Anytime, anywhere. I'm always looking. So I'm available anytime, anywhere. So that's just what I mean. Now you got you are a big guy. So what does it take for you to put that kind of knockout power together? and the kind to do, what kind of training do you do to get where you are and, and how you get to train for MMA fight? Well, I'll tell you right now, bro, it's not about how big, it's not about how strong, it's about how tough you are. So you come in here and, and, and you see guys hit the back, you got to do it over and over and over again. It doesn't take just one time in the gym and getting out big and buff. It's about sparring, it's about all, all the core strength, it's about all the cardio, and the cardio is the number one thing for MMA fighter. Because you're going 100,000 miles an hour for five minutes straight. It's like sprinting for five minutes. It's just, there's no give, there's no take. It's just 100 miles an hour the whole time you're in there. So it's, it's, it's you can't work on anything more than cardio first, cardio first. So everything, you know, you might start off big, but by the time you're done, you're fighting at 145 featherweight. <laughs> so. You know, if a young up-and-coming fighter comes to you, a guy that you've already, what you've accomplished, and you're looking to do other things, young kid comes in, what kind of advice can you give to a young fighter getting ready to get involved in MMA? I'll tell you right now, it's about heart. It's like, uh, there's only two things you can not teach a person, and that's to have a chin and to have a heart. If you got heart, you'll stay with it. Nobody, I mean, nobody can tell you that you can't do this. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do this. You just come into the gyms, you train, and you train, and you train, and it takes a little while to get proficient at everything. But you know what? If you got the drive, and you got the warrior spirit, and you got the heart, you will make it happen. That is awesome. So, is there anything you want to say to your fans out there? I'm back, baby. Look for me. Warpath, you guys, right here at TNT. Good stuff. Glad to have you on MMA Thank you.